Live pictures that are coming to us from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, where the Cygnus NG16 cargo capsule is about to launch. The 42 and a half meter tall rocket is full of research and supplies that will be heading in 10 seconds to the International Space Station. Let's listen in. Five, four, three, two, one. Engine start, and we have liftoff at seven carries for the NG60 mission, the Wallace Flight Facility. Engine set 100%. Attitude nominal. The SS Ellison Onizuka now on its way to the International Space Station to deliver more than 8,200 pounds of cargo. Good first stage performance so far. and power subsystems are numb. NG-16, all systems are nominal. Engines at 100%. It is a beautiful day in Virginia, in the USA, and that appears to be a successful launch so far. Cygnus is going to remain attached to the station for approximately three months before it will conduct a destructive re-entry, a so-called destructive re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. NASA astronaut and Expedition 65 crew member Megan MacArthur will use Canadarm2 to grapple the Cygnus with an assist from her fellow crew member, Thomas Pesquet of the European Space Agency. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds pretty cool. And they are scheduled to capture the incoming freighter on Thursday, August 12. Things still looking pretty good. A successful launch so far from Wallop Island in Virginia. And as you heard uh, from one of the officials speaking, it is carrying a whole lot of research to go to the International Space Station. Successful launch from Virginia. More on that soon.